page 375. And truly, as a light in the firmament, or celestial body slash star, can only shine against the dark background of the firmaments, or universe, so you can only shine in fairness, or responsibility, and in righteousness, or conscientiousness, as well as in equitableness, or fairness. If you step out of your darkness, of your unknowledge of the truth, by turning to the life-giving or creational laws and recommendations, by fathoming or researching them, grasping or recognizing them, and understanding them in their effect or mode of effectuation, so that you may act according to them and therefore follow them. And act according to the laws and recommendations of the life-giving or creation is the same as the allegory, or example slash comparison, of the surging sea that inspires you because you know the high tide that always brings the water back after the ebb. Because if you fall prey to all kinds of terrible things due to you falling away from the truth of the life-giving or creational recommendations, or simply show contempt for them, then the joy of living and happiness will return to you, like the water of the tide, if you once again bethink the laws and recommendations of the life-giving or creation, and turn yourselves back to them and follow them. Always consider that your life is given to people of your kind or human beings in order to bring it to fulfillment, for which you require the life-giving or creational principles and all recommendations through the forming or effects or mode of effectuation of which you can only live and learn from which you can see or recognize that your life is indeed precious which is however only possible for you because you are knowing or conscious that this is limited by death no every differentness or contrariness depends on each other or has a logic slash precondition like ebb and flow like day and night and like life and death because everything belongs together and is a whole or unity all amongst you know if you are capable of insight or rationality and true discernment or intellect that this is the pure truth which allow which you shall follow and in doing so keep to the life-giving or creational laws and recommendations so that you have a good life in fairness and in righteousness or conscientiousness as well as in responsibility truly you do not want the untruthful or false slash negative and not the evil, and therefore not the bad or negative, just as also not affliction, not lovelessness, not unright, not inequity, not unrighteousness or conscienselessness, not badness or the dishonorable, not unfairness or irresponsibility, not unfreedom, not unpeace, and not dissonance or disharmony, and nothing else that is villainous or heinous. Just as, however, you do not want the untruthful or false slash negative, but rather the truthful or good slash upright slash positive, so at the same time you overlook the fact that precisely these pernicious or negative things of the untruthful or false are the prerequisites for the possibility that you are able to effectuate or create all good or positive things and values in yourselves, which are true love, internal and external freedom, as well as peace and consonance or harmony in yourselves and in the extent or amply amongst people of your kind or human beings individually as well as amongst all people of your kind or humankind. Truly, 
you shall not effectuate or create the untruthful or false slash negative in any wise in yourselves, and you shall not bring it into life or not live it out. Rather, you shall only make it imaginable or conceivable through your insight or rationality and true discernment or intellect, thoughts and feelings, so that you may have insight or recognition of all terrible things at their root, so that you may knowingly or consciously turn yourselves away from them before they can become effective or active. Therefore, it is not given through the life-giving or creational laws and recommendations that the untruthful or false slash negative shall be effectuated or created in yourselves and serve as a cause for a decision or effect because truthly it shall only serve as a source or means of observation or imagination for cognition and understanding or comprehension or equals the untruthfulness or the false slash negative in any form shall not be active and not become acute and therefore not break out, but be solely and exclusively created and become conscious in the imagination for the purpose of recognizing or seeing the false and the negative in it in order to take measures against it so that it cannot gain might over human beings and therefore cannot become active inwardly or outwards and cannot come to an upsurge. If you are undisguised or truly open in your world of thoughts, then you would like nothing better than to avoid and remove or eradicate everything that belongs to the extent or realm of the untruthful or false slash negative. However, this may only be done in such a wise that all that is removed or eradicated is what is really vigorous or active and ausgeartet in the untruthful or false slash negative and is therefore lived. However, the source or means of viewing or imagining for reaching the cognition of understanding or comprehending may not be broken off or switched off. Otherwise, it will be or it will happen that the internal whole or unity of differentness or contrariness will dissolve, by means of which people of your kind or human beings will lose equality or identity. Truly, this misinterpretation or misunderstanding does produce or result in very many difficulties in life or life problems which you, as people of your kind or human beings, experience as difficult hours, days, and times, but which you can understand or comprehend and experience quite differently if you make it clear to yourselves that you only then truly have a full life if you direct yourselves according to the life-giving or creational laws and recommendations, and therefore according to the truth and bring about or form truthly love in yourselves so that you also find your equality or identity and you form your own character and your all of yourself or personality. And truly, your all of yourself slash personality, which you can continually widen until the moment that you depart from life belongs to the characteristic things of people of your kind, or human beings. And those amongst you who do not know, that shall be taught that this way or possibility has to do with the fact that you as people of your kind, or human beings, can bear or conduct yourselves freely during your life and be able to determine or decide everything freely according to your will, although you shall bear in mind that everything remains within certain boundaries or limits which are set for you 
so that you may heed and follow the guidelines or instructions of the regulation and the laws and recommendations of the life-giving or creation. The fact that you truly see or realize and comprehend or implement only little of this freedom of your right of determination or self-determination is explained in your extraordinarily pervasive or profound idleness or laziness through which you turn yourselves away from the truth and from taking insight into the true life. Just as also you turn away from true love that is given to you along with everything else important in life through the life-giving or creational laws and recommendations. There is no phase in life in which people of your kind, or human beings, necessarily find less sense, whether it be in the time of youth, in the time of middle or settled age, or in the time of old age or advancement in years because each time brings forth its own laws of the life. Exceptional or special difficulties or problems, and special or particular opportunities or possibilities, which you must meet or master yourselves according to their condition or form. Truthly, it is of significance or importance for people of your kind or human beings whether and how you allow yourselves to be touched by life, whether you make use of your inner freedom and consonance or harmony or not, and at the same time, you have to ask the question to your admonishment or conscience as to whether you are willing to do so or not.